Posterior cortical atrophy is a relatively rare early onset neurodegenerative disease manifesting dementia. It is a clinically important disease, so I will now present two cases. The first case is a mid 50s man who has had difficulty in reading and writing for two years, and has also had additional memory impairment for one year. The upper CT shows enlarged pseudocy in the left occipital and parietal lobes. The lower pet of glucose metabolism shows hypometabolism in the left occipital parietal lobe as indicated by the arrows. Amyloid pet with carbon 11 pi B shows amyloid deposition in the left occipital lobe in addition to the posterior cingulate gyrus and procuneus and medial frontal cortex commonly seen in Alzheimer's disease. The second case is an early 60s woman who has noticed the difficulty in reading and writing for four months. There are no neurological findings. Mini mental state scale is 25 points. MRI shows an enlarged sulcus in the left parietal lobe. VSRAD shows atrophy in the left temporal occipital lobe and left side dominant bilateral parietal lobes. Comparison with MRI flare image of 5 years ago shows progressive atrophy, especially in the left temporal parietal lobe. Brain perfusion spect shows hypoperfusion in the left occipital parietal lobe. Easy analysis of brain perfusion spect shows hypoperfusion in the left temporal occipital cortex and left side dominant bilateral parietal cortices. These two cases are summarized. Both cases are early onset dementia. Both cases started with visual disturbances. MRI or CT scans showed progressive atrophy of the occipital parietal lobe with a left-sided dominance. On the other hand, atrophy of the medial temporal lobe is not significant. Brain perfusion or glucose metabolism is decreased in the occipital parietal lobe dominantly on the left side. Amyloid PET was performed and was positive in one case and negative in another. Finally let me summarize regarding posterior cortical atrophy. Onset is most common between the ages of 50 and 65. It is a slowly progressive neurodegenerative syndrome that causes difficulty in processing visual information that is not based on ocular disease. Visual information processing disorders cause difficulty in reading letters, judging distances, and distinguishing between moving and stationary objects. Additional symptoms include the inability to perceive more than one object at a time, disorientation, and difficulty maneuvering, identifying, and using tools or common objects. Most people do not have markedly reduced memory, but memory may be affected in later stages of the disease. Although Alzheimer's disease is the most common background pathology over 80%, other neurological diseases such as dementia with Lewy bodies and corticobasal degeneration may also be present. Statistical image analysis may be useful to ensure that minor changes in MRI and brain perfusion spect are not missed even in the early stages of the disease. Thank you for your attention.